Have you ever wondered why Satan exists, and why God didn't destroy him? Perhaps God created him to give us the choice between good and evil. Without Satan, we wouldn't have the opportunity to choose good over evil. Do you remember the story of Adam and Eve and the apple? It reminds us that we were all once pure and innocent, created in God's image. So, what happened? Let's delve a little deeper and get to know him more intimately. Satan is a mythological figure associated with evil, appearing in various religions and mentioned in the Bible, the New Testament, and the Quran. Typically depicted as an angel, demon, or god, he is known for leading a line contrary to moral concepts and opposing the good and moral God. The existence of Satan can be inferred from the Holy Scriptures, which clearly teach about his presence. There are three ways in which we can understand this from the Scriptures. First, Satan is mentioned in seven books of the Bible, Genesis, 1 Chronicles, Job, Psalms, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Zechariah. Second, Satan is referenced in 19 of the 27 books of the New Testament, including Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and the Book of Revelation. While he is not explicitly named in any of the books, each author of the New Testament makes reference to him. Third, the Messiah himself spoke of the existence of Satan. Ezekiel 28 verse 12 Son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. The passage makes it clear that Satan was created and sealed the plan, meaning he fulfilled God's plan in two areas, wisdom and beauty. Ezekiel describes a picture in which God, during the work of creation, chose to limit himself to a certain plan or pattern from which he did not want to deviate. When the animals were created, they fulfilled a certain part of the plan. When humans were created, they fulfilled another part of the plan, while the angels played yet another part. When God created this particular individual, he sealed the plan, meaning he completely filled and completed the template he designed. Among all created beings, the Satan is considered the most intelligent and beautiful. It has been said that Satan was innocent and whole at the time of his creation. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Ezekiel 28 verse 15 God created him without any flaws. He was so perfect that he was given a special ability, the power to choose the opposite. This ability allowed him to choose in a way that is contrary to his nature. Although he was considered holy and perfect, he made the choice to do something imperfect and unholy. The sins of Satan are recorded in the book of Ezekiel 20 verses 13 to 16. We can learn from Ezekiel that Satan's original name was Hillel ben Shahar and his job was to praise God every day at dawn. His rank was among the cherubs, the highest rank in the hierarchy of angels, as we have already mentioned. However, Satan's sin was the sin of pride. He was not content with the high position that God had given him, but instead, he aspired to become a god himself. As a result, he received punishment from God. Ezekiel 28 verses 15 to 19. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence, and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth, I made a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you, and it consumed you, 
and I reduced you to ashes on the ground in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled at you, you have come to a horrible end and will be no more. Let's stop for a moment. If you have met the evil in you, write us in the comments what helped you get out of it. Let's continue. Perhaps the main idea behind creating Satan was to test our ability to recognize God's good and right way. The word angel means messenger. See, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way. Exodus 23 verse 20 God created all angels as his messengers to carry out his will in the world. He makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. Psalm 104 verse 4 The need for angels stems from the fact that God is so mighty and wonderful that his creation cannot withstand his direct presence or survive. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Exodus 33 verse 20 This is why angels who work through the power of God, were created to carry out his actions. In Judaism, it is believed that all the prophets, except for Moses, communicated with God through angels. Additionally, Satan is considered another angel in God's kingdom. The word, Satan, in the prophets is a general term for any agent sent to cause harm, including diseases, or bad people. The book of Job is the first source in the Bible to describe an angel named, Satan, whose job is to test humans with evil torments. Of course, Satan is not described as an independent entity, but rather as another angel of God. This is how God commanded Satan regarding Job. The Lord said to Satan, Very well, then, everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself do not lay a finger. Job 1 verse 12 Satan is an angel who is responsible for causing suffering and severe trials. However, like all angels, he works under the command and control of God. Due to his role as a messenger of harm to the world, he is called Satan. Satan has no definite form or place, as it is a description of God's mode of action to punish sinners with excruciating torments, with the aim of returning them to the benefactor and atone for iniquities. It is important to understand that the instinct for evil is a messenger intended to serve the divine good and lead us to it. Therefore, not all of its functions are intended to cause harm. The Bible does not require us to abstain from this world and eliminate our natural instincts, but rather it teaches us to worship God. In other words, the role of the devil serves a purpose and ultimately benefits mankind and creation. However, it is up to us to decide whether to use this power for good or for harm. Even when the Satan is sent to test us and tempt us into transgressions. The book of Zohar describes a parable of a king who wanted to test his son by having a woman try to tempt him into a crime. When the son passed the test, he won great honor and wealth from the king. In the parable, the figure represents the devil, who is sent by God to tempt us and increase our reward in the next world. However, according to the Bible, Satan primarily resides in the hearts of men, and therefore we have control over him. The evil instinct in our hearts can be likened to a devil that tries to mislead us into transgressions, as God described to Cain. If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door, it desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Genesis 4 verse 7 The moral of the story is that we all have a tendency to do evil, but if we resist it and choose to do good, we will be rewarded with right and not sufferance. The battle against our darker instincts begins at birth. We are born with a tendency to lie in wait for prey, but we have the power to overcome it and never give up. Even after a deep fall, 
we can choose to rise and become better people. After considering all that has been said, the simplest and most logical explanation is that Satan prophesies to test us and provide us with the understanding that there is a correct and better way. This is why he exists, and why God allows him to continue to do so. We hope you learned something new today. If you did, give this video a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining